So getting called dude by a girl you're really interested in sucks. You basically are put in the friend zone and you know it just by that one word. However, here is what you could do about it. What's going on guys? My name is Assam from DopeLifeCoaching.com and today I'm going to be talking about when a girl calls you dude. So if it's your first time on the channel guys and you'd like consistent update on content like this, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so you don't miss a single thing. And also liking the video will help a lot and I'd really, really appreciate it. So let's backtrack a bit for just a second. Now if a girl already is calling you dude or if she sees you in friend zone right now, it's pretty likely that you did something wrong to cause her to see you as just a friend. Not always, but it is likely. That being said, you really need to familiarize yourself with my content and also book yourself a coaching session with me, even a free one, a 10 minute consultation, so you really, really grasp this material and also so that it doesn't happen to you again. All right, so let's go over a couple of things here. Number one, just because she calls you dude doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have a chance. That's number one. And number two, if she calls you dude and she only sees you as just a friend, you still have a shot at reattracting her and turning things around for yourself. So even when a girl calls you dude, you can still do one of these two solutions that I have depending on your level of comfort with the girl and also depending on your personality type. If you're serious, you're going to respond one way. And if you're more of the friendly, playful, funny guy, you'll respond in a different way. So let's just hypothetically say that this girl is calling you dude and you're either at a party or you're texting, whatever it is, and you're more of the funny and playful type, you can go ahead and respond with this. Tell her, is that something you call all of your attractive guy friends? Or you could say, is that something you call all the attractive men you know? Just say that and leave it at that. Now, you saying that basically implies that number one, that you're attractive, and number two, you're calling her out on it. And both of those things are very ballsy. They're very bold. You need guts to do them. Women love men with guts. So when you say that, it is a possibility for you to flip the script and to make her feel feelings of attraction for you now. Because now you're just like, I see myself as attractive. And also, because she used the word dude on me, I'm curious, is she calling every other guy that she sees attractive dude? So when you're calling her out on that, most guys don't do this, bro. They just stay in friend zone and they like to play things safe. And because you're completely different, you're doing things not the same as every other guy, that can make her think about you and potentially make her start to develop feelings for you. So that's if you're the funny type. Now, if you're the serious type, I just recommend you be forward and not to waste time. So next time she calls you dude, you could just tell her something like, hey, I have a question. When you call me dude, what exactly do you mean by it? Most likely because if she sees you as just a friend, she's going to say something like, what, we're just friends. That basically means you are in the friend zone. But if she says, oh, no, don't take it personally. I just, I just call guys dude sometimes. If she says that, then you could dig deeper. Be like, well, I don't see you as just a friend. Now, is that how you see me? And see how she responds. If she says, yeah, or if she says, I don't know, and tries to go around in circles, that means she sees you as just a friend. But if she doesn't see you as just a friend, she might be like, sorry, I didn't mean to make you feel that way. She'll apologize. And then maybe later, you know, start flirting with you or whoever knows, whatever, whatever way the conversation goes. Now, when that happens, just be honest and be straightforward. Be like, I appreciate your honesty, but to be completely honest, I don't see you as just a friend. You're great. You're sexy. Whatever it is you feel about her. You're funny. You're cool. Say that and be like, so I think it's best that we don't waste each other's time. But if you do change your mind, you could always reach out to me and then maybe we could consider. But unless you're willing to reconsider, I don't see a point in us, you know, staying in touch. Now you saying that even if she still has no feelings for you, she is going to respect you a lot after saying that. Because what do most guys do? Most guys, bro, they just stick around in friend zone for years. They get to know a girl and then they think, oh, I can't lose her. I got to be her friend first. She has to know me really well. She has to see that I'm a nice guy and that I'm not going to take advantage of her. She has to see that she can trust me. And then over time, while the girl may be interested at first, that's how it usually starts, that the guy was interested and the girl may potentially see some sort of a spark at least, that spark eventually dies and goes out. 
Why? Because the guy did not make the move. He was just staring at her from the sidelines without doing anything, without making plans to take her out on a date, without flirting with her. The type of interactions they had were all friendly. They weren't flirty. They were acting like two buddies would act, like two guys would act, basically. Or he was treating her like a sister, not as a potential romantic interest. That's the difference. Now, that method that I just mentioned, guys, and the one before it, actually, even if she has no feelings for you, once again, that can likely get her back because you're being bold and you're being ballsy and you're being honest. Women respect all of those things. And also, most guys don't do that. So when you do, you differentiate yourself from the crowd and you make her potentially reconsider you. I'm saying potentially because I don't want you trying this out on one girl and be like, oh, it doesn't work. Just because they don't want you saying this one time and then trying this on one girl and then saying, oh, it doesn't work just because I tried it once and it didn't work. No, that's a loser's mindset. I've talked about this a million times in my other videos. A winner's mindset and an abundance mindset is not the same as a scarcity mindset and a limited mindset and a loser's mindset. Remember, the point I'm trying to make, dude, is either way you win. By implementing these tactics and by being honest and by being ballsy, either way you win. So it's a no-brainer, man. So that's pretty much it, dude. And if you like the video, guys, make sure you show your support by hitting that thumbs up button. And also, if you want consistent updates on similar content just like this, do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon so you don't miss a single thing in the future. Make sure you comment down in the comment section below for future ideas or videos that you'd like me to cover. And I'd be way more than happy to cover them. So you got this, man. Just be bold, be ballsy, and most importantly, be honest. You got this, man. You're going to kill it. I'm out. Peace.